and did her huge footsteps to follow, right? <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, I couldn't come from and ask for a better community uh, to support my campaign. As many of you know, I was active with the Tax Free Mountain Democratic Club for many years, a, a club that my uncle Marshall started, my mom's brother, and one of my coaches from high school. And then when I moved down to Bakersfield, um, I uh, became active with the Central Committee here and really got to know folks here. And never did I believe or think that I would be on stage, you know, 30 days from a, a major presidential election and have my name on the Democratic ticket for Congress. And so it's because of all of you, and of course my mother, that have given me the encouragement, the support, the financial support, that have come out with the walk, and have been there with me from day one. Nobody ever came and said, are you sure that's what you want to do? You know, do you know what you're getting yourself into? If they did, I probably would have done it, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think it, the, the reasons why we're doing this are very clear. You know, we have some of the worst air in the country here in Nevada. And it affects our lives on a daily basis. And more importantly, it affects the lives of our children and, and our children to come. And then we have some of the worst water. So when children are going to school in rural communities, the 45 rural communities, starting with East Bakersfield, Auburn, Lamont, all the way up into Western Fresno County, uh, towns like Fireball, Mendota, Mendota that doesn't even have a bank. So when I was on the credit union board, we fought to open our first credit union in Lamont. To this day, it's the only financial institution in Lamont. How can communities grow? How can people you know, begin to talk about savings and financial planning if there's not even a bank in the, in the town? You know? And so when you go around looking at these small towns, farm worker towns, and, and you talk about the future of our valley, we talk about what is gonna happen, what is gonna happen uh, to uh, be able to provide uh, educational opportunities for our children. Do you guys know that in the 21st Congressional District, that college graduation rates are less than 10%? And in small towns, like where Jose Verola is running for mayor, the graduation rates are less than 3%, you know, 4%. So again, how can communities grow? How can we build our economy? How can we diversify our economy if we don't give our children the educational opportunities to compete on the global market, to attract new businesses to our community. That's the only way we're gonna change the valley. We have to change the, val the valley by electing good representatives and then going to Washington and reminding people that we are one of the richest economies in the world here in the Central Valley with ag and oil, but we want our fair share. We want to, we want Washington to do, remember to give us the same safety net, to give us the same incentives as they have given, up, given to agricultural and the oil industries. All we're asking is for the same opportunity to have a seat at the table. And that's why I'm running for Congress. Thank you. Woo! And I have the honor of introducing a great, great person, and not just uh, our soon to be first African American U.S. Senator, but <laughs> South Asian you know, U.S. Senator, first woman, you know, U.S. I'm reminded of my family of 11 sisters and a mother. <laughs> There's a lot of feminism running around there. <laughs> But, you know, Ms. Harris, uh, she was elected to be our first, uh, our, our California State Attorney General and first woman in 2000, 2010, right? Yeah. 2011. And right away, she took on Wall Street. She, she took on the, the predatory lenders that were responsible for the financial meltdown, for the, for the mortgage crisis here and in, in throughout the country. When, when big banks wanted her to accept four billion dollars of settlement, you know, for for the for the, the calamity and the chaos that they caused, she said no, and she got other states also to back out of discussions that, that they were having, and she fought. And what did you do? Eighteen billion. By the time she was <laughs> over, right, twenty billion dollars that came back to California. <laughs> portion of that, what, 12 billion, 14 billion? 
principal reduction, uh, uh, mortgage modifications, uh, uh, short sales. So homeowners receive direct benefits from that. I was former board chair of Self Help Federal Credit Union, and I just resigned in January. And so we saw the positive impact. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of families in California were able to keep their home. The, the, the largest single asset that they have, and because of Ms. Harris, they were able to keep their home. And so that is why we need a U.S. Senator that is gonna to go to Washington and not only fight for California, but to fight for working families throughout the United States. And we know with her leadership and with the leadership of our next president, Ms. Hillary Clinton, <laughs> that we're gonna be able to turn this country around. We're gonna get rid of the do nothing Congress and we're gonna be able to elect leaders that are really gonna fight for working families here in California and throughout the country. So it is with my great honor to present our next U.S. Senator, Ms. Kamala Harris.